Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to permanently delete files on Android. Now with most storage drives and most operating systems, files aren't actually removed when you delete them. Instead, what really happens is the system simply labels that file location as empty space. So all the ones and zeros that were physically written to the storage drive when you saved that file in the first place are still there. It's just that they're being ignored. And they'll stay there indefinitely until you save a new file that happens to land on that space, which would then overwrite the old file with new ones and zeros. Actually, this is how apps like Undeleter can recover deleted files on Android, because they're still physically there on your storage drive. And if you've been watching the news lately with the whole Apple and FBI ordeal, you can see why this would make some people uncomfortable. So if you want to permanently erase the remnants of old files on your phone, start by installing an app called Secure Eraser. It's available for free on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step 1 in my full tutorial. Now before we get started, let me tell you how Secure Eraser works. Basically, since all of the so-called empty space on your phone's storage is really occupied by leftover bits of data, it simply writes a new file full of completely random data on top of it all, then deletes that. So just like when you delete a regular file, you could potentially undelete the data it wrote, but it would just be random ones and zeros instead of a real file. With that stuff covered though, using Secure Eraser is incredibly easy. To start, use this first drop-down menu to select the storage drive you want to clean. Basically, if you have an SD card, go with external, and if you don't, just use internal to permanently erase the remnants of deleted files. From here, you can select the type of data that will be written over the empty space on your storage drive, but I'd suggest you just leave it set to random. Once you've done that, just hit the start button at the bottom of the screen, and Secure Eraser will get to work. To be clear, this won't erase any of your existing files. It'll just overwrite the empty space with random ones and zeros. And while it's doing that, you'll see that your available storage space starts to shrink down a bit. But that's okay because when it's done, it'll delete that random data and you'll get all your available storage back. The whole process can take quite a while. When I did it earlier, it took about 30 minutes to clean 15 gigabytes of empty space. And of course, that would vary depending on how much space you have available. But when it's all said and done, all traces of previously deleted files will be gone forever, and not even the FBI would be able to recover them. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking!